I'm Ian Summerall and in this video I want to introduce a topic which I think represents one of the main challenges for software engineering in the 21st century, that of systems of systems, with the challenge being how do we evolve our software engineering techniques to develop these systems of systems. So first of all, what do we mean by a system of systems? Well, a system of systems is a, an overall system that we have put together by integrating existing independent systems. Now the key word here is independence. These systems are independently managed. They're owned by different people perhaps, but they're subject to different management policies. Therefore, we don't have an overall direction to the system. Think about some examples of systems of systems. One example would be a cloud management system that manages private clouds and a number of public clouds. So what we have here is one system, the cloud management system, interacting with the local cloud management facilities and the cloud management systems provided by other cloud providers such as Amazon, Google, Microsoft, IBM and so on. Another example of a system system would be uh, an online banking system that interacts with systems provided by credit reference agencies so that when you apply for some banking service it can check the credit. So there we have a number of systems within the bank and within the credit reference agency interacting. And finally an example of a very complex system of systems would be a situation where you have a system that integrates command and control systems and information systems from the emergency services. So this might integrate information from fire, police, ambulance, coast guard, all about assets available which can be called into use when an emergency arises and actions have to be taken to deal with that emergency. I like to think of systems of systems having seven essential characteristics which distinguish them in some way from systems that are owned and developed by a single organisation. The first of these is the operational independence of the constituent systems. That is to say, each of the systems within a system of systems has a useful function in its own right. You can use it without the system of systems. So it's not just a component, it's a system, a useful system, which can deliver services and indeed generally speaking, has been developed separately to deliver these services. Managerial independence, I've already mentioned, it's a key a characteristic of a system of systems. Within the systems, each of the individual systems can be managed separately. Now, what this means is that a manager of one of these individual systems may decide to take some action without necessarily consulting with the other systems within the system of systems. And that can sometimes cause difficulties. Evolutionary development is another characteristic of system of systems. We never sit down and say, let's design a system of systems. They always occur, or they always come into being when we look at existing systems and say, well, we could integrate these, perhaps provide some extra functionality and have a, an enhanced system. So they develop in an evolutionary way, they evolve over time. They're not designed top down as, as, might, as might happen with a, a new system. Emergence is a characteristic of, of all systems where emergence means that you get a <coughs> system behaviour which you can't anticipate until you've integrated the system. But it's a, a particular issue in systems of systems where we find that characteristics such as reliability and compliance. Does, does the overall system behave the, follow the, the rules and regulations which it's subjected to? Uh, these are emergent characteristics which uh, often appear in systems of systems. It's normally the case that the 
systems within a system of systems are geographically distributed. They're not all in one place. So therefore we have to deal with the problems that this can cause, particularly problems of operation, where you have people working in different time zones, not being available at the same time, and so on and so forth. Systems of systems are usually reliant on enormous amounts of information. The, the data which is owned, controlled and managed by these systems is usually orders of magnitude greater than the code itself. So the problem with managing evolving systems of systems is not just an engineering, a software engineering problem, it's a data management and data engineering problem too. We have to think about how we deal with incompatibilities and inconsistencies between the enormous data sets that may be managed by the individual systems. And finally, heterogeneity. Systems of systems are put together, they're integrated. The individual systems are not all developed using the same hardware and software technologies, so we need to find ways of making them work together. In summary then, a system of systems is put together when we take two or more independent systems and integrate these to create some enhanced functionality. But what we find is that systems or systems are incredibly complex. The nature of their interactions makes them very complex indeed. And this makes them a very significant software and systems engineering challenge to develop, evolve and manage.